completely. The, the only reason we, I mention this is when Alito and Roberts were before this panel, they were asked about memos they wrote in the Reagan administration, clients they represented, a lot, to try to suggest that you, if you wrote a memo about this area of the law to your boss, Ronald Reagan, you must not be fit to judge. Well, they were able to explain the difference between being a lawyer in the Reagan administration and being a judge. And to the credit of many of my Democratic colleagues, they understood that. I'm just trying to make the point that when you were an advocate, when you were on this board, the board took positions that I think are left of center, and you have every right to do it. Have you ever known a low-income Latino woman who was devoutly pro-life? Yes. Have you ever known a low-income Latino family who supported the death penalty? Yes. So the point is there are many points of view within groups based on income. You have, I think, consistently as an advocate took a point of view that was left of center. You have, as a judge, been generally in the mainstream. The Ritchie case, you missed one of the biggest issues in the country, or you took a pass. I don't know what it is. But I am going to say this, that as Senator Feinstein said, you have come a long way. You have worked very hard. You have earned the respect of Ken Starr, and I would like to put his statement in the record. And you have some, said some things that just bugged the hell out of me. Man. Last question on the wise Latino woman comment. To those who may be bothered by that, what do you say? I regret that I have offended some people. I believe that my life demonstrates that that was not my intent to leave the impression that some have taken from my words. You know what, Judge? I agree with you. Good Thank luck. You.